guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be talking about a brand new foundation that just came out last week it is the makeup revolution irl filter longwear foundation it's supposed to be a breathable soft matte foundation now i'm going to say that i was going to be doing a first impressions i actually filmed a video yesterday but i didn't switch my main daylight bulb on so the video is really dark and grainy and i just wasn't going to upload it to youtube so this isn't going to be a first impressions video it's just going to be a general review of the product i was interested in this foundation because of the claims it has some epic claims to it and that's what kind of drew me in so I was just intrigued um, one of them being that it's like a real life filter we'll come to that a bit later on so this foundation retails at £9.99 you can buy it at Superdrug or uh, Revolution Beauty I'm not sure if it's at Boots yet I didn't see it there but I definitely know it's uh, stocked at Superdrug that's where I got mine it's vegan and cruelty free and it also comes in 30 shades now let's get to some of the claims we're going to read some of these out and then we'll get to what my thoughts are on this product it's supposed to be 16 hour wear so it's supposed to be long lasting it's a matte finish for an airbrushed look a buildable medium to full coverage it's shine proof crease proof life proof i don't know what that means smudge proof super coverage with 20 percent more pigment to make um, in order for it to look like a real life filter revolution are basically asking you to drop the filter on your social media because this is a filter in a bottle and i've seen some of the pictures and that's what intrigued me because it does look like a filter on some of those photos that people have taken with this product when i did my first impressions video i used a primer on one half of my face and then nothing on the other half except my moisturizer and sunscreen and all that good stuff i always do it that way because i like to see if the primer makes the foundation long lasting it didn't I'm afraid um, after about an hour it started to wear off on my chin and after, after eight hours I came up to take my makeup off and there was barely any foundation left on my face to take off my first cleanse I usually use micellar water to take my makeup off and there was barely any foundation left on the cotton pad there were apart from my eye, pro, um, eye makeup there was not really anything to take off so I don't really believe the claim that it lasts 16 hours not on me at least um, let me tell you a bit about my skin I do have combo skin so I get a lot oilier in the summer months and a lot drier in the winter months so I do sometimes get an oily t-zone every now and then as well so I am a lot drier at the moment but this foundation made my skin look so dry it did not make my skin look smooth or airbrushed it looks more textured it looks dry um, it did crease in some areas like on the lines on my forehead so it didn't really it wasn't really crease proof on me either and most importantly it I don't think it looks like a filter I mean do you guys think it looks like a filter because I don't I just think it looks a bit like I mean it probably looks all right on the camera but to me it looks heavy and slightly cakey um, and it also almost like goes into my pores, if you know what I mean, or like those little, it balls up slightly around here, um, well, or it looks like it's balling up, and it also looks quite dry around my nose area. So I wouldn't call this long lasting, I wouldn't call it crease proof, and I wouldn't call it airbrushed. I will say that I didn't find that it was smudge proof, like I can place my hands on my foundation and I feel like it's set. I haven't used powder at all today, and I haven't used primer either, I thought that was important to know. I've had this foundation on for about a couple of hours now, and I have had to reapply it to my chin already, because it was starting to kind of come off. Um, I don't know what it is about that area, but it just doesn't want to stick there. I do agree that this is a medium to full coverage foundation. I think that you can get a really good um, full coverage. To me, I've used just one pump. It's the Makeup Revolution actually recommend that you use a few pumps of foundation. I used one pump and barely got through that, so you don't need much of this at all. I feel like if you apply too much of this you are going to look really really cakey as for buildable i did um, apply a little extra of this product um, to certain breakouts here and i just feel like it looks a little bit dry so i didn't apply a second layer because i didn't want my skin to look even more cakey than it already is so if you're somebody with dry skin this product might not be for you because especially if you have a problem with flakiness it is going to pick up on that and it's going to um do you know what this reminds me of it reminds me of the rihanna the fenty beauty foundation i did a review on a few years ago and that just went i mean it's not as bad as that because that went on horribly on me and i know a lot of people love that foundation but it just does not suit my skin it just doesn't work on me at all this reminds me of that but it's 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 not as bad on me but it's still not good if you know what i mean i do know what makeup revolution are trying to do with the filter thing you do get certain products that can blur out your imperfections or i don't really like to say imperfections but you know your pores and your texture and you end up with it with a really nice base with those products 
this is just not one of them, it, for me at least. I do not look like any of the people I saw the photos of on Makeup Revolution's website. They do look like they, um, they are filtered. I also will say though that they do look like they are wearing a lot of makeup as well, which is not a bad thing, you know, I'm, I don't mind wearing a lot of makeup, but I'm just saying it doesn't really look like a filter on me. It just makes my skin look older, it makes it look drier, and it makes it look more textured. So unfortunately this foundation does have a lot of claims to it, but I don't think it really lives up to quite a few of them in my opinion. I'll probably use this in the hotter months and see if this works for me then when my skin's a little bit more oily um, and maybe it won't look me, make me look so dry and cakey but right now it's just not working out for me. Anyway guys that's what I think of the new Makeup Revolution foundation. Have you tried it yet? Are you thinking of trying it? Let me know down in the comments and do you like it? Maybe it works for you and maybe you do feel like you're walking around with a real life filter on your face. I don't know. <laughs> But let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know your opinions too. Remember to be kind to each other and I will see you in my next video. Bye.